We'd had the previous brand for probably about 10, 12 years and it had served us really well. But I felt that during that time, the last 10, 12 years, the business had changed quite a bit. I didn't really think that that brand reflected what we did that well. So I thought it was, it was time that it needed a refresh. Matt approached me in December 2016 um, and he wanted me to look at the rebrand. At first I wanted to use the original three circles and, and try and incorporate them in, in maybe the Eon. I did see some of the earlier designs, um, concepts that Will had come up with. There was uh, one up that stands out that looked a bit like a Pac-Man. But it sort of didn't work, it was too simple, um, it didn't have much in terms of usability or sort of um, you couldn't use it across the board. I think my comments were back to Will, I think we need to keep going. I went back to the drawing board, looked at competitor analysis, looked at what other people were doing. It really helped having that process of analysing where we could stick out or where we could integrate. So I went with this green, mint green colour and sort of a dark teal, it's more navy maybe, but the, the idea being, again, you clash, it sticks out on social media if you just quickly scroll in on your phone and then the fonts completely clash as well because they're not the typical design fonts or the safe fonts. I went with a more hand-drawn, hand-written type font. Everything can be smoothly integrated with one another. When Will first presented with the, the final design, I, I immediately took a, a liking to it. What struck me the most was some of the colours that Will had used, especially the sort of vibrant mint green. And I couldn't decide at first whether I, I really loved it or really hated it. So straight away I thought, we're on to something here because it's provoking a reaction. Overall, I think the team were excited about it. It kind of inspired them. Will's enthusiasm came, came through really well in that presentation. And the vibe in the room was really positive. From that presentation, everybody was bought in, which was fantastic to watch. I could tell that, again, we'd struck onto something because there was there was a real, you know, you could see people's faces light up. Once you get the team buying into it, they're passionate about the brand and that's partly that mindset and then they can push the brand and then you do, you have to do little to push it because everybody is pushing in the right direction. The mission was, was vital and is vital. It's what we are, it's who we are, it's what we do um, in a nutshell. It wasn't an easy process, we, we spent, you know, a good three, four days locked in a room, debating what was right, what was wrong. But we came up with something that I believe is, is absolutely spot on for this business. You know, it's, it does exactly what we do in this organisation. We saw these different elements. So there was um, creating, inspiring, digital, um, and they worked as words. So then we put these full stops on the end and it sounds like a simple little thing but it really put emphasis there was individual sentences like bullet points almost it gave us the opportunity to, to leave it open um, so we have the creating inspiring digital and then we can apply whatever we want to the end of that which is digital apps digital media digital videos it's 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 quite a flexible mission as well which is you know what we are as an organization we are flexible we do offer unique solutions to our customers. I think the end result is fantastic. I really do. I, I really believe in this brand. I'm extremely passionate about this business and I think the brand really represents that passion and the buy-in that people that work within this organisation have for working here and hopefully our customers and our other stakeholders can now really buy into that as well and they can see that. Thank you.